So you're thinking about moving to Roy City and you're not even really sure where Roy City is. Well, it's just on the east side of Fate, which is on the east side of Rockwall, which is on the east side of Dallas, right on the other side of Lake Ray Hubbard. But I tell you what, this town, small country town, not a lot going on here. So if you like the slower pace of life and uh, also want to get a good price on a home, then this could be a good option for you. It's a little bit out there, but if you're working from home or working remotely or only have to go into the office a couple of times uh, per week, maybe, if you're gonna be traveling to the airport, probably not the best option to be out here in Roy City, but if you only have to go once a month or once a quarter, something like that, that could probably be a little bit more doable. But look, we're here in the historic downtown and this is pretty much it. You got about one to two blocks here a lot of little uh, shops, restaurants, boutiques. Uh, you got a beer garden. You've got uh, uh, Beauty and the Beard, uh, so you can get your hair cut over here as well. You got a little home boutique right there. You've got a little farmer's market. You got an ice cream shop. Uh, you've got, and of course, like I said, the beer garden, the most important. Uh, so that's going on right there. You got Italian cafe right down there. Just, But this is the main strip. This is what you're gonna find in Roy City population uh, between 15 20 thousand right now and that has quadrupled in the last 10 15 uh, 20 years used to be about 2000 I think early 2000 and so now it's getting up there quite a bit of course all these areas outside of Dallas are blowing up uh, people are moving here from California New York Illinois Washington State you know the list goes on and on where they're all coming from all the people we're dealing with on our client side but Again, you know, this is, uh, if you want a slower pace of life, this is the way to go. You come out here, uh, you can go to Fate. There's not much going on in Fate. We've got a video on that. You can check that out. But Rockwall is going to be your closest as far as your big city. Uh, to be able to get over to Rockwall, you uh, get all, knock out all your shopping. I mean, you, get, you have everything that you need to get by on the day-to-day -day right here. But again, uh, if you really want to get to go to the lake, first of all, the lake's not too far from here. So that's, uh, that's pretty good. Uh, but otherwise, if you want some land, you find some land out here, but otherwise you're going to get uh, new construction, likely unless you're going to find a much older home. It's kind of one or the other, much older homes or brand new construction. New construction homes cap out around here, around five, six hundred thousand. You're not going to find much higher than that unless it's got an extensive amount of acreage with it as well. So that's just something to keep in mind. But, you know, hey, let's do what we always do. Let's take you around, show you a couple of different homes and a couple of different price points. And if you want to be on the lower end, say around 300,000, you definitely have some options out here, a lot more options, of course, as you go further out. So just something to keep in mind, but we'll go check out a few little things. Um, not too much to see around here, but we'll try to still uh, show you as much as possible. So that way, Voice City is an option for you. You can make a better decision. So let's get after it right now. All right, so we're at our first stop here in Roy City, and we're coming up on this house right here, which is listed at 385,000. It's four bedroom, three bath, 2,590 square feet. So that's gonna put the price per square foot right around $150 a square foot. Uh, it's built in 2003, and you know, pretty pretty good shape, moving ready. Now, if you wanna upgrade or make some changes, that would be up to you, but otherwise, Looks like it's ready to get moved into. Community seems uh, nice around here. Now, here's the deal. Uh, we've talked about this with HOAs. This community does not have an HOA. So therefore, uh, if you don't have HOAs, we get a lot of questions. I know that I think in other areas or other states, people tend to not like HOAs because we always get questions about them. But I think if you're in a residential neighborhood, they're very beneficial. They're great for resale because they're going to keep things like that out of the street out of the driveways now hey good looking boat it looks like it's functional uh, doesn't really bother me if I lived in this area but if it's set there and got in disrepair you know started to rot all that other good stuff then it could be a problem you know but otherwise most people don't want to look at boats hanging out in the community or you know there you got some dead branches on the ground don't know how long they've been there but something like an HOA would probably come by and ask you to pick that up at least. Otherwise, with no HOA, they will could sit out here forever. Um, they could chop down the whole tree and leave it on their front yard. And if nobody's here to ask them to remove it, then they can do that. So 
that will if there's no hoa and you have a neighbor that allows their house to just you know go uh go to the wayside you could say and are not willing to clean it up or fix it up that's going to hurt you on resale value so it's just something to keep in mind but the thing is is that in an hoa and again in residential communities now i'm not a big fan of them in condo communities uh or townhomes because of the shared walls or the shared roofs or things like that you can easily get assessed and charged a lot of money if something goes wrong that i don't like but uh you know at the same time they're necessary sometimes but still in these communities overall this looks like a pretty well-kept community for not having an hoa which a lot of communities that don't have hoas can turn into a problem uh, you can see broken down cars in the driveway on the streets boats again broken down boats i think that's really the biggest problem I, I never really had an issue with someone having their boat uh, out front, but you know, it's the ones that need all the repair and are uh, just look like a piece of crap out there. That's what you don't want to see. But otherwise, I mean, this home, $150 a square foot, that's definitely on the low side of the square foot range, uh, price per square foot range in the in anywhere close to the Dallas area. You're really not going to find that anywhere closer to Dallas or in Frisco or anything like that. If you did, it would need a serious renovation likely and a lot of work. So otherwise, uh, you know, Mostly uh, looks like in pretty good shape moving ready. Of course, you always want to have an inspection done whenever you, uh, you know, first uh, put a contract on a house, something to keep in mind. But other than that, you know, seems like a good community, nice and quiet. I'll cruise you around here so you can get a better look at it and let's uh, go check out another one. All right, so we're coming up on our next stop here in Roy City, and you can kind of see that home right there. Just completed, it's available right now. It's a four bedroom, two bath. It's listed right at 398,000. It's right around um, 1,800 square feet or so. And looks really nice. Uh, I just missed the cutoff though. Uh, it's just past six and they just closed the office at six. So I wanted to take you inside, but otherwise, you know, you can see this again. They've got a couple of new construction homes left, but otherwise most of this community is completed out. Uh, and there's still other opportunities going on here in Roy City uh, because there's a lot there's a lot happening here and a lot of growth, a lot of opportunity. So, you know, the thing is, is that people are coming in a little bit further out as well. Again, just to kind of try to cut down on those prices. But yeah, 398,000, almost 2,000 square feet. Uh, the price per square foot should be around $190 or so, but four bedroom, two and a half bath, not too bad. You know, two car garage, brand new construction. And so uh, you can see here, mostly completed out, uh, you know, newly planted trees, this whole community built within the last year or so. We actually helped a client uh, secure a house in this neighborhood as well, uh, which is always a, a cool thing to do. And, you know, it's just, uh, it's nice, you know, but again, out and about not a lot going on around here super quiet super slow so if that's something you're looking for then this is a good spot if that's not what you're looking for you definitely want to be a little bit closer into town maybe rockwall maybe even dallas or if you want to get up there to frisco i mean this this whole east side of dallas or out east of dallas is just a whole completely different vibe you still get a lot of that country feel uh you know a lot of land out here lake life uh it's just it's just different on this side of it compared to up north up north is you know frisco plano salina prosper all that is hustle and bustle growth 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 uh non-stop this you still can find some land some opportunity out here and uh, a kind of a slower pace of life you know and everything is moving up north but everything will be moving out here east as well it's just uh not as popular right now it is it is kind of but i would say it's not people's first questions whenever or uh you know that's not the first cities they want to see when they most everybody's always talking about plano frisco prosper you know when they call us initially uh once you know depending on their price range if they're getting priced out of those areas or inventory is just not really that available we've had uh, helped a lot of great families secure homes over here in the rockwall heath 
uh, Fate, Roy City, all those areas, uh, which we got videos on all those areas. You, you should definitely check those out if you're researching this east side of Dallas, but it's a great area. Again, just a little bit slower pace of life, but that's all good for those that are looking for it. You know, but what it comes down to is whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, you know, feel free to give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. Happy to help you make a smooth move to Dallas. And until next time, well, we hope to show you around town.